And good afternoon to you. I'm Lourdes Duarte. And I'm Ben Bradley. Thanks for joining us. Let's start with the latest on the COVID-19 virus here in Illinois. State health officials reporting 6,200 more cases of the virus, which is roughly half the number of daily cases we were seeing in late November. 116 more people have died. The state's case positivity rate right now keeps on declining. It's at 7.4 percent. And the U.S. Surgeon General is visiting Chicago today. He addressed the news out of the United Kingdom about a troublesome new mutation of the virus that's gripping that country. Brona Tumulty joins us live from the Thompson Center with more. Brona. Good evening. And he did indeed address that, but he stopped short of calling it a new strain of the virus. Rather, he said it was a new variant, adding that viruses mutate all of the time. Now, just in case you're playing catch up here, strict lockdown measures went into effect over the weekend in London and surrounding areas due to that new variant, which is believed to be 70% more transmissible. In response, several countries, including Canada, France, and Ireland, have slapped tough restrictions on UK flights. Some countries have outright banned them. Speaking here today at the Thompson Center. The Surgeon General said he'd spoken with Dr. Anthony Fauci about whether the U.S. should impose travel restrictions too. He says Fauci has told him he does not believe that is an appropriate move at this time because that variant is believed to be in three to four other countries as well and has been around for as many as several months so there's a chance it could already be in the U.S. What he did say is they're hoping to do further work in conjunction with airlines to get people tested before they board a flight but ultimately he says the vaccines that are currently being circulated are key. But if we continue to follow the public health measures that are out there and that the people in Illinois are increasingly um, doing a better and better job of, then uh, whatever this variant is, we will be able to defeat it. Uh, we also need to continue to promote vaccine confidence because, again, uh, there's no indication that this variant is resistant to the vaccine. So one of the most effective things we can do is to get as many people, particularly the vulnerable, vaccinated as soon as possible. Uh, and that will help us, again, uh, be resistant to any uh, variant of COVID that comes along. Now, also part of today's trip was a visit to St. Anthony's Hospital on the city's southwest side. Over there, Dr. Adams was getting a look at the hospital's vaccine rollout plan and meeting with some of the staff who were vaccinated there today. And also discussed today advice for the holiday season. The Surgeon General acknowledging that many people probably won't listen.